Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome to my art class. I am Miss Phoenix and today we will be doing something very special. Today, me and my class learned how to draw this koi fish. Now for today, the materials you will need are a pencil, some paper, and a orange and black marker. If you have red, that also works as well. All right, we're gonna start off by turning to a brand new page in our sketchbook. We're gonna take a pencil and on the bottom of our paper, we're gonna start off by drawing a smaller circle, kind of like this. Now, what we're gonna do for our next step with our pencil, we're gonna draw just above where our smaller circle is, we're gonna draw a bigger circle, just like this. So it's slightly over this way. If you draw it in the middle, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, for our next draw we're gonna do, we're gonna start at the very bottom here, right here in the middle of our circle. We're gonna go up this way, kind of curve a little bit, a mix between a question mark and an S shape, just like this. We have our question mark shape, kind of. Over here, we're gonna draw some lines going up, and all of these, this section down here, will create a perspective, meaning which way you're looking at the fish. So, for our next step, we're gonna start with our bottom line down here. We're gonna go out and meet at the top curve. On this side, we're gonna go out and meet in the inside curve just like this now it is always good to use pencil before pen whenever you are drawing this helps so that our lines that are in the middle and if you make a mistake you can just use an eraser to erase it now next thing we're gonna do is our fin we're gonna start with our front fins so on this side of our fish we're gonna draw a triangle that has a rounded top and it'll be going in past this line. I'll do this one first and then I will show you. Just like this, we have our triangle right there and it's rounded. Now for this side, we're not gonna go past this line. We're gonna start right about where this is, right here, and go out just a little bit and round off back into the body of our fish. This will make it look like the fin is behind our fish while this one is in front of our fish just like this this little fin back here is behind our fish while this one is in front of our fish now we're going to do the exact same thing with these two fins up here but for this one you can make this in front of this line right here this one will also be in front of the line like this this is changing the perspective so right now, we're looking at the back of the tail of the fish from the top. That's why its fins are above the line. Now, we're gonna move on to our tail. For our tail, we're gonna do something very similar like we did here. We're gonna start, we're gonna go out with a curved triangle coming back into our tip. This is how the top of my tail looks so far. I extended mine out past our middle. Now I'm going to bring it in to the middle. Now what I'm going to start with is some circles that are right about here where the fin is, right here and on this side. My eye kind of went into my side, but that's totally okay. I have two circles just like this. Now we're going to draw two more circles in the inside. And if you remember from our frog tutorial, we're going to add the reflection of our eyes. This is my fish so far. He kind of looks surprised. We're going to move on to our mouth. So, here's what I want you to do. I want you to draw out this circle that you have down there. Just fill it in a little bit. Then, in the middle, I want you to draw kind of a curved line to make some lips. We're gonna do that on the top and the bottom. We got lips on top, lips on the bottom. They're kind of hard to see on the bottom, but good thing I have an eraser. Okay, last thing. We need to do our top fin. So here's what I need you to do. I need you to draw a line straight up here and a straight line here. And then following this line from the top of it, connect them together. Just like this. Uh, mine ended up going over the middle line. If yours doesn't, totally okay. So with that being said, we're gonna outline our fish, add some spots and color him. I'll put some pictures of fish on the, uh, on the screen of koi fish. You can add your spots wherever you want. It's totally up to you.
just like that, guys, we have this really pretty koi fish. He looks a little surprised, I will say. Anyways, guys, with that being said, thank you so much for coming and joining me in my digital art class today where we drew this fish. I hope you guys all have a safe and fantastic rest of your day. Don't forget to keep creating. We love seeing your art. And if you want to tag me, tag me on Instagram at idragonqueen12 or with the hashtag create to illuminate. I will see you guys later in a brand new video.